he is he really wants to with the pesticides and the you know all the different things i said he can do it he can do anything he wants he wants to look at the vaccines he wants everything i think it's great i think it's great the only thing i say to bobby is leave the liquid gold under our feet alone i want we want to have a little gasoline that was Donald Trump suggesting that former independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. could become one of the country's leading authorities on childhood health care if Trump wins next week. RFK Jr. has repeatedly amplified misinformation about vaccinations being linked to autism, even though years of research from multiple countries have debunked that claim. Joining us now, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist and associate editor of The Washington Post, Eugene Robinson. He is also, of course, an MSNBC political analyst. Eugene, yeah. so good to see you. Good for um, you. I've talked to a few people recently who feel like of all of Donald Trump's campaign promises, yeah. maybe one of the most dangerous yeah. is this one. Yeah. The idea that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. could be empowered, maybe the head of H H HSS or some of the White House health czar, mm -hmm. title to be determined, yeah. where he would be in charge of rolling out the nation's health program, including vaccinations. Yeah, I don't think it's great. Uh, yeah. although, although Trump does. I think it's potentially catastrophic. I mean, this is one of the great uh, successes of public health uh, in the history of the world that, that we very successfully uh, vaccinate for childhood diseases, for other, other maladies that used to kill people and now have been essentially eradicated. When I was a kid, long, long, long ago, like measles was a thing, yeah. you know, and, and kids got really sick from measles and it, it, there was nothing you could do about it. It's so contagious that, you know, one kid got it, everybody got it. Um, and, and people died, kids died from it. We've now eradicated it and here comes, you know, a crackpot, a total crackpot, RFK Jr., who thinks, you know, vaccines, cause autism, which they don't, uh, and we could squander that progress, and, and, and the result will be killing people. Yeah, the, the, the rollbacks on public health, on climate change, yeah. would be extraordinary if Trump were to win. Um, let's hit a few other campaign yeah. topics here, mm -hmm. Eugene. Uh, Trump last night, we're going to talk about it at length, I'm sure, saying that Liz Cheney should have <sighs> guns trained on her face. Just the latest escalation of really di dangerous, violent rhetoric against his political opponents, whom not only has he said mm -hmm. that if he wins, he would use the Department of Justice, the military perhaps, uh, to go after, but we know he has previously inspired violence from his supporters. Yes. And he's potentially doing it again. Oh, yeah, he is potentially doing it again. And step back for a second. How, how extraordinary that is in our history that a, a candidate for one of our two major parties for president who might win is talking about you know, a firing squad, essentially, or something, uh, for a political opponent. This is totally unprecedented. It, you know, it, if if it were not immediately followed by eight or nine or ten other outrageous and unprecedented things that Trump says or does, it would be a month-long story. It, you know, it, it's just impossible that this is happening. But there, there you have it. I mean, it's another day in Trump land. Yeah, right? and, Let's and, shoot Liz Cheney. And, and unlikely, frankly, that it will receive the same media attention that, like, President Biden's comments from earlier this week. And yeah, right. The president, of course, yeah. not even a candidate. Yeah. Uh, not no. even a candidate stumbles over, over the word garbage. That's a huge deal. He said he's going to shoot Liz Cheney. I mean, you know, let's shoot Liz Cheney. It couldn't be clearer said. Gene, we got about a minute left. Um, just what are your thoughts? What, what, what should Vice President Harris, as we head into this final weekend, what needs to be her, like, final closing argument or two? Uh, well, you know, I think she's made her, but she's made her, her closing argument. She did that amazing event on the on the ellipse. I think she should keep talking about um, women and reproductive rights, and uh, you know, we're going to take care of you no matter whether you like it or not. I mean, that sort of thing, uh, because I think there may be a lot of women who. You know, who, 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 who could talk Trump uh, in public and who could vote Harris in private. And, uh, and, and I, I certainly hope so. Yeah, there certainly is a belief that if there is sort of a hidden voter block this time around, which in 16 and 20 mm -hmm. went for Trump, this time it might be women. It might be women. It might Harris. be for Harris. There's no law that says a hidden voting block is Trump. It could be yep. Harris's. All right. MSNBC political analyst Eugene Robinson. Eugene, thank you and stick around. We'll talk to you on Morning Joe mm -hmm. as well.